Hey students, welcome back to Mr. Poole's math class. Uh, today we're going to talk about something that you may not have learned in uh, third grade. Okay, so, so far in your math career you pretty much talked about whole numbers. Now we're going to go um, uh, to the right of the ones place. So you might be thinking, well there is nothing to the right of the ones place. Well, as far as you know so far, there isn't, but I'm gonna tell you there is. So what I'm gonna introduce you today is we are gonna introduce two spots to the right of the ones place. So here's the ones place, here's the tens place, here's the hundreds place, and to the right of that, it is separated by this little dot right here. And you probably see what it is. It's called a decimal point. So the decimal point separates the place values to the right from the whole numbers. Okay, these are called decimals. Anything to the right over here, over on this side, are called decimals. Okay. So you might have heard of decimals before, but you maybe didn't know what they were. Well, that's what they are. They're anything to the right of the ones place. So um, first of all, the decimal point, when you see it in a number, you're gonna call it and. So you're not gonna say point. You're not gonna call that a point or a dot or, or anything else. You're gonna actually say and, okay? So whenever you see a decimal point, you'll say and. So the way I would read this number is 231 and four tenths, okay? So you're always gonna say and at a decimal point, okay? And you might wanna write that down in your math journal. So if you have your math journal by, you might wanna pause the video and write this down. So a decimal point, this point is called a decimal point. It's to the right of the ones place. So you know where the ones place is. It's directly to the right of that. There's always gonna be a decimal point there. When you're reading that, you're gonna say it as and. So 231 and four tenths. That's how I'd read that number. And anything to the right, they are called decimals, okay? Now, some of these were your vocabulary words. This was one of your vocabulary words. This was one of your vocabulary words. You should already have that down in your journal, okay? So anytime I give you new vo vocabulary words, always write them down in your journal, okay? Write those down, because that means they're very important and you need to know what those are. So. Uh, if you haven't done that yet, go back and write those vocabulary words down. I think there was four of them. I think there was four. Okay, we're going to learn about the other two in, in just a, a moment. So hopefully that makes sense to you. There's kind of a lot of information. Just let it sink in. If you need to replay the video, you can replay the video. But you're always going to say and for the decimal point. Okay, now if I come over here and I have the same, here's the exact same numbers I used over here. Okay, so I just rewrote it over here. So here's again, the hundreds place, the tens place, the ones place. Now, we know what this is called now, right? It is called the decimal point. We know that these numbers to the right of that are called decimals. Now, this year as a fourth grader, you're gonna learn about two points to the right of the decimal point. And those two are, the first one are called tenths. Okay, they're called tenths. It's, it's like tens, but it's with a TH at the end. So it's tenths, tenths. Okay, so practice saying it. Say it at home a, a few times, tenth. Tenths. Okay, so the first place value is the tenths place. Okay, the second place value 
to the right that you're going to learn is this one right here. It's this place value. That is called the hundredths. Hundredths. Again, it's hundreds with the TH on the end. So hundredths, hundredths, hundredths place value. Um, now, when do you call it when do you call it tenths and when do you call it hundredths? Well, if it only has one place value and there's nothing in the hundredth spot like this one, then you're going to call it tenths. If there's nothing else in the hundredth spot, you're going to call it tenths. So you're going to say this number as 231 and 4 tenths. If there is a digit in the hundredth spot, then you're going to call it by the hundredths. So you're going to call it by wherever there's the digit is last. If the last digit is in the tenths, you're going to call it tenths. If the last digit is in the hundredths, you're going to call it hundredths. So you would read this number as 231 and 43 hundredths. Okay, let that sink in a little bit. So 231 and 43 hundredths. Okay, so that's how you would say that one. So the first place value is the tenths. The next place value is the hundredths. So those are the only two place values to the right of the decimal that you're going to learn this year. So just those two, just tenths and hundredths. Okay. And when I'm talking about it uh, in class, okay, I refer to money a lot of the times because a lot of people know money. You might not know tenths and hundreds yet, but really you've dealt with tenths and hundreds your whole life. So whenever you deal with money, you're dealing with tenths and hundreds. And I'll show you how that uh, works. So I, I have the same number up here, 231, and, oh sorry, I used this one, 231 and 43 hundredths. Well, how does that look in money? So there's two hundredths, so that's your 200. There's three tens, that's your 10 spot here. There's one one, there's your one. Now, here's your what? What is that called again? This is called your decimal. Okay, that's your decimal point. And you're gonna say and. Okay, and then when you get to the tenths, what are tenths in money? If you think 10 tenths is gonna make up one whole, so 10 dimes. 10 dimes make up one whole dollar. So if you have 10 of these, it's going to make up a dollar. And then if you go one spot further to the hundredths, they're actually pennies. Hundredths would be pennies because if you have 10 pennies, doesn't that make up one dime? It does. And if you have 10 groups of pennies, that's 10 dimes. So a hundred pennies is the same as one whole, okay, one whole dollar. Okay, so that's how, that's how this number right here, 231 and 43 hundreds, that's how we look at it in money. So you really know tenths and hundreds already, okay, it's just you know it in money. So uh, when you're thinking of money, okay, you, now you know them as decimals. Yeah, that's what money is, it's decimals. Okay? It's simply the same as dimes and pennies. If you have some coins at home, uh, a good little thing for you to try is, is separate those dimes and pennies and create decimals out of them. Okay, you can make your own decimals and then practice saying them. Practice saying the tenths and the hundredths. Okay.
because that's that's going to be the one of the toughest things you do to learn just being able to say these correctly remember if it ends on the tenths you're going to call them tenths if the last digit is a hundredth then you're going to call them hundreds so 231 and 43 hundreds 231 and four tenths okay because we have nothing in the hundred spot so you're going to call it tenths okay all right happy learning and uh keep submitting those assignments i'm seeing some really good work all right guys have a good day bye